Things in Russia are long and boring. The cabins were tiny and for some reason unbearably hot. With no windows to open in the cabins, it was literally like being cooped up in the world's smallest sauna for 16 hours. Needless to say, it did its job and got us safely to the last stop of our journey. Sometimes on this trip I get really fed up with him. This butthole. This is when you really Constant find out who your real friends all the time, are. All the time, like this. Right. Colonel Mustard hat over here. It's a new colour. Right anyway. So we finally arrived in Perm. And after we managed to find our apartment, we quickly realised that the cheapest option is not always necessarily the best. With broken lights and doors falling off their hinges, it looked and felt like a crack den from the 70s. After a brief look around, we headed out to find more spots. Oh, I, oh, I hurt my bum. Oh, I really hurt it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I the next day, we headed over to a small resort called Polazna, where they were holding a competition for local riders. It turned out that we were down to judge the whole thing, which was pretty handy considering most of us could barely walk at this point in the trip. We got a good view of the park. So after what seemed like no time at all, our epic adventure was drawing to a close. The owner of the ski resort invited us to his house for some last night drinks. The Russians are extremely hospitable people. Unfortunately, their idea of a good time is nondescript 70% alcohol and dried fish heads. Yum. <laughs> Now you feel my pain. <laughs> 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 